Hi everyone. I'm um, just going to go over the systems of inequalities review really quick. Um, there are still some questions about the symbols. So these have a dotted line. And if there's the equal bar underneath it, it will have a solid line. Um, the shading dictates where things are happening. So let's do the blue line first. So like blue. Um, the form is y equals mx plus b. So that's the same, but I'm going to have one of these. Well, it's solid, so it's going to have one of those. I'm not sure which. All right, so the y-intercept. So I'm going to have like a y here. I'm going to leave a space. I have the y-intercept, which is plus 3, so I'm going to add that at the end. And then I'm going to calculate the slope. So it goes through this point, so that is 2. It's rise over run, so it's 2 thirds x. And the shading is below, so that means that y is less than. y is less than... So the shading is below. Shading is below. Um, and that's why it's nice to use like two different colors um, instead of just like a pencil or a black pen. All right, so for the red line, it is dashed. So same thing, I'm gonna have the form of y equals mx plus b, but I'm gonna have one of these symbols. I'm not sure which yet. So I'm going to have y, I'm going to leave a space for my symbol. Here's my y-intercept. So that is minus 1. I'm going to calculate the slope. It's a little bit hard to see. So if you guessed, I'm going to say it's that. Um, and I got a lot of like close slopes. I'm looking at the spreadsheet right now. Um, but some people weren't sure how to write the equation, and that's okay. Um, Everything is fine. Um, so, a lot of you, though, you got the wider steps correct. So that's awesome. So I'm going to draw a slope triangle here. Skirp. One, two, three, four. So it goes down four. One, two, three, four, five. So it's negative four fifths x. Okay. The shading. Let's use the highlighter. The shading is above, above. So that means that y is greater than. y is greater than, which means the shading is above. Above. Okay, and then for the solution. So the solution is, let's use a highlighter. It's this whole area. So it's usually like some type of weird polygon or like um, here it's a triangle. So you just have to choose one point. I think a lot of people chose zero, zero. So in love with that, right? Zero, my hero. Um, but anything's gonna work over here. So like this or something down here. I can't choose something on the red line, um, but that's okay. So the solution set. I'm gonna say it's like purple. Meh, yeah, you get the idea. So zero, zero works. Um, I saw that one. Uh, some people said four, one, um, right? So like anything in purple works. Uh, four, one is correct. Uh, who was that? That was Colin, shout out to Colin. Um, Negative 9 and 2 would be over here. So I'm thinking that 9 and negative 2 works, so. Yeah. So make sure that we're writing x and then y. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, that's all I wanted to do. And if you're not sure, keep practicing um, on Khan Academy on your own. And then um, we're going to start our next unit next week or this, well, whenever. Okay, uh, that's all. Bye.